Keeping kids active during the winter months can be a challenge. Sometimes just leaving the house when it's cold outside takes a lot of convincing. It won't take much to convince your family to check out an event coming to the WH Lion Fairgrounds this weekend. Courtney Drenth is the Director of Marketing and Public Relations with the Sioux Empire Fair. She's here with a DIY project to keep the kids active inside and tell us how you can get them out of the house to enjoy some winter fun this weekend. Welcome, Courtney. Thank you. Now, before we even get started with, we're making a little sock version of Frosty <laughs> the Snowman. What yeah. a great, cute idea. But just explain to me what Fight the Frost is, this event, because it's the first time it's going to be here. Yeah, so we're really excited. Fight the Frost is an indoor inflatable event. So we have over 30 inflatables um, to fill our expo building, and it's an event for kids and adults of all ages. Uh, you buy a one-day jump pass, and you can jump all day long. You can come back later. So it's happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just let those kids come over and just burn their energy. It'll be a good time. And there's no admission fee for anyone to come in. You just pay for a one-day jump pass, and that's how you can get on the inflatables. And you can go, leave, yes. and then come back as well. Yes, and it's for all ages. We do have a little kids area, so for the younger ones, um, they can jump in a specific area. And then we have a bunch of other inflatables, and adults can join in on the fun. I was going to say, when you mentioned all <laughs> ages, does yes. that include adults? Yes, yes. All right, well, we'll get back into this more and talk about the event, but I want to get started with our little project. This yes. is so cute. So we're going to make a little snowman. Um, I actually made one when I was younger, so right away I was thinking this is a fun little craft. It's easy to do. Something you can do with those lonely socks that you can't find the matching one. I have um, a lot you of those. just need <laughs> one long sock, and what you do is you cut off the end. So we're going to save this little piece for later. That's actually okay. going to become the hat. Okay, I'll move this over here. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. The first thing we're going to do is right below where you cut it off. You're going to rubber band it, okay? because obviously we don't want the beans to fall out. Right. So make it a tight little rubber band, okay? and then we're going to flip it inside out so we don't see the rubber oh. band, and that'll be the bottom of our snowman. And next comes the fun part. We're going to fill beans. it up. The beans. So I'll have you help me out. Um, just fill it up with beans. Some people will use rice. Beans is a little bit easier because it's not as messy. And just, just keep going. Fill it up. And we'll make a nice little plump snowman. Keep going. Yep. Let's see if we can get all, all in there. Yes, that should be I good. I want them to be plump. <laughs> the best snowmen are plump. Yep. Actually, we can probably fit the rest of those beans in there if Put you more. want to. Okay. We'll make a nice plump snowman. Use up the rest of the beans here. Perfect. Perfect. And then we'll seal off the top with another rubber band. Okay. Again, make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, or he's really plump. <laughs> he's really plump. Um, and this is something that's nice for kids of all ages. You just need to help them with this part, and then they can decorate as they want to. Um, and then we will separate. I use another rubber band. Some people okay. will tie a ribbon around to make the head of the snowman. Just make a tight little fit, and we will cover it with a ribbon later. Right. Um, and then we'll use the toe part of a sock to make a hat. So I just folded it over a couple times. I love how you're literally using one sock <laughs> to one create sock. this. How creative. Yep. And so there's a hat. And then comes the fun part is decorating. So you can glue on buttons. You can use markers or paint depending on the age of kids. And just go ahead and decorate. So I'll let you start decorating yeah. your snowman. I'm going to start doing this. Yes. And you can tie a ribbon around to make a scarf or use other materials. Um, and I know some people will get creative just finding little random pieces at home to decorate your snowman. And it's kind of fun to play with and easy to do and something to use a sock. So when yeah. you have those lonely socks you don't know what to do with, you've got a snowman. Yeah, so now as I'm doing this and finishing up my face and as you start drawing yes. that one, let's just talk about the importance of staying active and what that can do to kids if they are just kind of cooped up in the house, whether it's something where they're kind of just sitting and putting mm -hmm. something together, still using creativity or actually getting active. Yes, so it's really good for kids to stay active. Um, this time of year, I know it's really easy just for all ages to sit at home and cozy up next to the TV, but it's good for kids to burn their energy. There's a whole bunch of fun activities you can do for kids, and that's why we're really excited about Fight the Frost is it gives families an opportunity to get out of the house and just burn energy and have a fun day. Now, this is the first time it's happening in Sioux Falls, but you yes. were telling me that this started not too far away in North yep. Dakota, so just explain how this all started to come down here to yeah. Sioux Falls. So, um, it's from the company Games Galore actually does it in North Dakota. They've done a couple events in multiple cities in North Dakota. And they really wanted to come out to South Dakota. So right away it was a perfect fit. We have the huge Expo Center. And they wanted to bring it to Sioux Falls, a great location. We can have people come from out of town to Sioux Falls and just a great opportunity. So it worked out well. And I think the weather is probably going to be a little chilly out. So 
it'll really encourage people to come indoors and jump. It is. It's supposed to be one of those chilly weekends, <laughs> but what response have you heard from people? I feel like inflatables are pretty popular around yes. here. Yes. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, a lot of people are really excited. They're doing even early Christmas gifts for kids. Um, grandparents have been calling on, you know, can I come jump with them, with the grandkids? So it'll be a good time. We have a lot of people excited about the event. And, um, of course, it's something where you buy an all-day pass so you can leave and then come back and jump later on in the day if you'd want to. So let's go over the details now so we can yes. get the dates out there, where to get tickets. Yep. So we have it happening this Friday through Sunday. Friday's hours are 3 to 9. Saturday is 9 to 9. And then Sunday is 11 to 5. Tickets are available now at Campbell's, or you can buy them at the door as well. And like I said before, if you're an adult coming with kids and you don't want to jump, you can enter for free. You don't have to purchase a ticket to come into the expo building. You just need a pass to jump. Right, and if you do have a younger child who yes. can't jump yet, there's an area for them. Yep, so there is an area for younger kids. And tickets are for kids 5 and under, it's $8. And then 6 and up, it's $14. And like I said, that's a one-day all-day jumping pass. And there is a kiddie area for those younger kids, so they don't have to fight the older kids. <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's look at our finished products. Yes. Mine don't have the buttons on, <laughs> neither is yours yet, nope. but you can get the gist of it, and we have the completed one right yes. here. So how cute to give a gift or like a teacher's yes. gift. Yes, it's a great gift for kids or even for grandparents, yeah. something cute and little that kids can make. How fun. Well, thank you so much, Courtney, for coming in, thank and you. good luck at the first event. Thank you.